Hi, I'm here with Steve Bai, who's a marketing manager at Roche Applied Science, and Steve's going to tell us a little bit about the complete Histag purification resin. Yeah, Mike, thanks for stopping by. This is a great new product, complete Histag purification resin. It's really a, the innovative feature is the way that we bind our nickel onto the column. Okay, and that's important. It's binding more tightly. That's important because of the chelating agents that might be present in your protein sample. That's exactly right. The nickel is bound more tightly so that you can do a number of different things with histag purification that you haven't been able to before. Things like EDTA and DTT, having those in with your buffer so that your protein is protected and you want those agents in there because you want to make sure that your, your proteases aren't active. Exactly. EDTA is a metalloprotease inhibitor, and so you use that to protect your protein, to keep it from being chopped up by the protease. DTT is also used to keep your protein from being aggregated or clumping together during the purification process. So being able to use those means that you're getting intact, non-chopped up, and fully functional proteins that are ready to go. Mm -hmm. And then you also don't have to spend the time worrying about removing the EDTA and TTT from your sample. That's exactly right. There's no kinds of buffer exchanges that are needed because you're able to use the optimized buffer for your protein, not a buffer that's dictated by the resin. So whatever your protein needs, you can use that with our resin because that nickel is bound tightly and it's not going to be stripped off. Interesting. So and the proteins that are coming off of this are pretty standard? I mean, it's just a standard histag purification system? Yeah, standard histag proteins. Um, we've seen that 6, 10, or 14 hist residues are fine to be used with this, and the applications that customers are using are like protein crystallography and protein-protein interaction. But while I'm talking about applications, you know, a lot of people want to um, purify secreted proteins, proteins that are secreted into the culture media. Well, because the nickel's tightly bound, you can dump that culture media right over the column. It's not gonna strip off the nickel. A lot of times we've found that the culture media has some unknown components that tend to strip those, um, that metal off the column and you won't be able to purify it. Not with ours. Ours use the media right on the column, purify your protein, and it doesn't get stripped away. So that's a huge time savings then, right? Yeah, you don't have that's to worry right. about buffer exchanges. Exactly, no buffer exchanges. You're, you're optimized for your protein and it's saving you time because you don't have to do buffer exchanges to get rid of what you can't use on a column and you're not doing anything at the end either as far as recharging. So you can really save a lot of time. You can spend your time studying your protein and less time purifying your protein. Interesting. Let's talk about form factor. What's available now? What, what's in the works? Yeah. We have it as a, available as a slurry right now so that you can use it in batch processing or pack your own columns. Soon we will be coming out with some pre-packed columns for convenience and ease of use. Well, Steve, thanks a lot for talking with us today. Thank you very much for stopping by.